In section 2.3, we're going to work mainly with the calculator and finding trig functions when they're not your basic angles like 45, 30, 60, which we can do uh, without the calculator for sure. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're in degree mode. And a real quick way to test that is to do the sine of 90, and you should get 1 if you are in degree mode. All right, so let's look at a couple of these. Um, if it's given in degrees and minutes, you want to put it in your calculator and use second angle. Let's get our calculator up here. All right, so second and apps gives you the angle menu. And then you would use... Um, you type sign and then you would put in 49, get your degrees, and then do 12 minutes, and you should get a value. So you want to remember second and angle gives you a second in the apps button will give you your angle functions. Then if you need to do um, if you need to do secant, there's not a secant key. So remember secant is equal to one over cosine. And so you can find, there's a couple of ways to do this. You could do this, find cosine of this value, and then hit the inverse button. So let's look at that. So if we, let me quit out of that. All right, so if we did cosine of 97.9777, is that how many sevens? Yeah. Okay, and we'll hit enter. And then we will hit the inverse button, which is right here, and then hit enter, and we get negative 7.2 whatever. That is the secant of 97.9777 degrees. So that is, that is a way to do it. You can also, so that works, you could also just do 1 divided by and then put in cosine of 97.9777 and hit enter and you should get the same thing. So you can either find the cosine and then hit the inverse key or you can do one divided by. So either way that should work. Alright, so now if you have to find the angle when you're actually given the trig function. So if the problem says find the angle whose sine theta is this. If you're not given the sign, I mean if you're given the sign and not the angle, you'll do second sign. So when we look at that, we're going to do second sign. Let me clear this so we don't have anything else on there. Second sign and put in the value that you're given, 9677. Oops. 9677 1705 and hit enter and we get 75.4 degrees. So we told the calculator find the angle whose sign is this. And that's when you use second and the sign key. All right. So let's move on. So secant theta is equal to a value. Remember that secant theta is 1 over cosine. So you can do 1 divided by that value equals that, and then hit second cosine second answer. Let's try that. So if we did it that way, 1 divided by, put in the value that you're given, Uh, I have two eights in there, sorry. Is that right? 1.0545829. Hit enter. And then do second cosine because you're wanting to find the angle. So second and the function. And you want it of this, so we do second and the little baby negative, which says pull that answer and do it with that. We hit enter, and we get the 18.514 degrees. So.
All right, and then there's some practice problems here in the lecture notes. And so they're just doing exactly what we said, and you might practice those. Sine of 38 degrees, 42 minutes, because I'm going to go over our problem set, our actual problem set. But these, I've written out what to do, and so it should be pretty clear to practice on these. Now let's get to 23. Find a value in the interval 0 to 90 degrees that satisfies the statement. So they're asking you to find an angle. And what quadrant is this in? This is in the first quadrant. So it is where tan is positive. And so you're looking for, I think I have it written here. I have it written out. You're looking for an angle that has the given tan. So you do second tan and that value, and you get 55 point 85 degrees all right you do the same thing with um, secant not sure what that is there let's make that go away secant theta equals that value remember that secant's 1 over cosine so you get 1 divided by cosine 1 divided by that value is this and then second cosine second answer like we did in that other one and you'll get 30.5. Um, use a calculator to evaluate ex each expression. You can just do those, sine of th and hit 35, cosine 55 plus, and you get, you get a value. Same thing with that one. So let's see. I think that's it for our lecture notes. Let's go to our problem set. All right, so this is, these are the kinds of problems you would encounter in your homework. Match the trig function with its approx appropriate approximation. So sine of 21 degrees, and you're just gonna do that in your calculator just like I did here, sine and hit 21. When you're in degree mode, you don't have to put the degree symbol for that. And we end up getting 0.35, uh, yeah, so it is this one. Okay, all right. Number two, same thing with this one. Co uh, second cosine 0.13. So if you do that, and I've shown you the keystrokes here, second cosine 0.13 gives you 82.530. And so that's going to be here. Number three, tan of 33, that one's pretty easy, and you're just gonna match the answer that you get. Cotan 41, remember that that's one divided by tan, so one divided by tan is 1.50. And so that would be here. Go to the next one. Second sine of 0.21, and here's the keystrokes that we put in. Second sine 0.21, and we get the 12.122. This should be a pretty quick, easy homework for you. Secant 15 degrees, remember that's one divided by cosine, and you should get the 1.035. Find a value in the interval of 0 to 90 that satisfies this statement. So if tan theta is this, then to get the angle, we want to do second tan. So second tan, put in the value and hit enter, and we get this. So we're going to put that, that value is going to go in your answer box. Find a value of alpha in 0 to 90 that is cosecant alpha is that. Well, remember cosecant is the inverse of sine, so you do second sine, put in that value, and you get the 46.685. 9. What value of A will produce the output in degrees in the graphing calculator screen? So this is second sine of A is equal to 63. How are you going to find that? Well, you're just going to go in your calculator and do sine of 63. 
that's the value that they're wanting for the answer. What value of A was going to, what do you get? What is the sine of 63? That's what would have been there. And then number 10, find all values in the interval 0 to 360. So now we're not in just one quadrant, so we have to think about other things. So uh, where is sine positive? We want to think about that because this is a positive value. So sine is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. So the first thing you can do is do second sine, put in the value, you get 39.78. So that's one of your answers right there. For the quadrant 2 value, you're going to subtract this amount from 180. So whatever you get here, subtract from 180, and you get your second uh, value. And they want rounded to five decimal places and a comma in between them. So you would do like 39.7834, that rounds up, and comma 140.21656. And that's what would go in the answer box. So I think that should be a relatively easy uh, set of problems to work on.